know, I think that maybe Lucia and Alessandro, they can a little bit elaborate on the wearables uh, yeah. technology and uh, biometric, non-invasive biometric uh, that are available because um, we do want to catch those patients, I mean, those subjects early on, uh, as early as possible in their 40s or so. I think that uh, technologies can be very useful both to, in, to, uh, to, to start to find the biomarker earlier so you can intervene earlier and also to monitor the, the progress of the disease and also the effect of the treat treatment uh, in a more objective way. Unfortunately, up to now, technologies are mostly used for uh, research in small, uh, small pilot studies for many clinical trials or big studies using applying technologies and they are not used in um, commonly in clinical setting. Uh, although uh, they are quite uh, simple, non-invasive to use, but they are seen like uh, something more and something not really useful so, uh, accessories. But uh, I think that uh, from our experience, that can be very uh, potential to, um, to, to, to help clinicians in, in an early identification and intervention. Yeah, well, this, is, this is great. Um, I think it uh, really would be nice to have also maybe you uh, making a little article uh, have digital diagnostic on the uh, monitoring uh, that we can put on the website uh, where you explain uh, what can be done already, but then you're almost lacking a little bit the population-wide study. And this is what we are lacking right now. We, of course, know that we need for each uh, trial, even if it's uh, just observational, uh, not, not interventional, we need a clinical protocol, but can we go, uh, you know, beyond this? Uh, I'm sure that um, the Apple Watch uh, is collecting a lot of data that um, are relevant, could be relevant also for, for brain aging. Uh, so. One thing that I would like to add is the fact that it's very, I think it's very important to provide the, information because uh, misinformation or lack of information um, can increase stigma which has uh, as, as a social uh, impact because uh, if there is stigma and there is a misunderstanding of aging dementia um, the company and also the public, uh, there is no awareness on this se sector and this has an impact after on how many funding and the level of funding that are uh, uh, provided for care and support. And I think is, this is a great idea, the fact that uh, we should underline the progress that has been done till now and maybe what can be done more uh, if we have uh, funding for conducting research in one specific uh, uh, sector or area of interest. So, and I will uh, later briefly with my, with our presentation, uh, speak more about how uh, the attitude and the beliefs can have an impact uh, on uh, this specific, uh, the funding, so social and individual uh, impact. That's this. <laughs> 